Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Um, we just waiting for TJ to uh, tap in, and then we're going to get right to it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me see what, let me see where he's at. What's up, what's up? By the way, I know it's a random face on the channel. My name is Omar, I'm the senior cultural strategist uh, for Finish Line. So, oh, that's my guy right there. Click here. Go down. Yo, TJ, can you send that request to join the live? I like my AirPods on. Yeah, let me take the AirPods off. Let me see what happens when the AirPods off. That's better. No questions. There we go. All right, so the sound's good now. I took the AirPods off. We My man. That. My man was good, TJ. You know, you know it takes a little minute for the Wi-Fi right. and everything to connect, <laughs> brother. You know how that go. Right, and I got to hold the phone up. Yeah, I appreciate you taking the time out of your Juneteenth to connect with us. You know, um, we here at JD and Finish Line, you know, we're really a part of the black community. So not only do we want to stand against racial injustices, you know, we want to make sure we elevate the voices of different, uh, more importantly, black voices within the community. So, you know, when we put this together, it was the first person I thought of, like, you know, let me hit you up and see if this is something you'd be interested in. So, again, appreciate that. You know. Absolutely, man. Your, your, your family to me. Uh, Finish Line is a brand that I love and respect, and you know, um, I'm happy to do this, man. I'm happy to join you on this day. Cool, cool. So let's talk about the day. You know, 1863. That's when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. Yeah. And it took two years for it to really take effect, and for the other states to really understand what happened in the country, and mm -hmm. basically slavery got abolished. So, with that said, what does Juneteenth mean to you? Well, you know, it's it still, like you said, it took time for the Civil War to end, and it didn't happen until uh, 1865 when that, that military ship came to Texas and freed the final slaves. So uh, there's a, a lady by the name of Opal Lee who has been fighting this good fight for a long time. She's now mm -hmm. 93 years old, and she's been on the front lines to try to make today a holiday. Uh, right. the, the official name of the holiday will be Freedom Day. And she's been, you know, marching to Congress, doing the whole thing to get it done. And so uh, there's a lot of uh, energy going into this year. Um, unfortunately, with all of the recent deaths and everything that's happened, uh, there, there's been, you know, a, a spotlight on our community. And going into to this month, especially with the timing, uh, Juneteenth is something that a lot of people are pulling together today to celebrate. I also like to give kudos to Kenya Barris uh, from Blackish. Uh, Kenya has been on the, the front lines as well, kind of in the culture. Uh, if you see, saw Black AF on, on Netflix, he's been talking about Juneteenth and trying yeah. to get this. Um, so, you know, t today I I'm very, uh, I, I don't like to use the word excited um, around times like now, but I, I am excited about the energy of today and using today for, for us to share history and to share stories and to kind of get the, the, the word out there. So uh, today is a very, very special day. 
Yeah, for sure. I feel like, you know, with everything going on, especially right now, there's no distractions. So everybody can really focus and, yep. you know, there's nothing taken away from, you know, this day and everything else that we're, you know, fighting for. You know, I, I, absolutely. It's like the, you know, the universe, when, when something negative like this happens, you always have to look at what are the, the silver linings and the fact that, you know, a lot of people are still on quarantine. I, I live in LA. I know you're in Colorado, but you know, all of the bars are closed. You know, mm -hmm. all, most of the restaurants are closed. So, you know, I'm, I'm really just taking today and I've been reading more books and, and, and learning and watching. And so uh, I think today is, is definitely going to be a day of celebration and, and history. Yeah. And you touched on it a little bit, but how do you think, you know, how do you feel about this day and everything else? How do you feel about it getting so much like uh, attention and you seeing it in like all types of media pub publications? Yeah. Well, you know, old man, it's, it's, it's a sensitive topic, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of us have been fighting this fight for a long time. You know, I'm 38 years old, and so I can't name the amount of times I've been to protests and marches. And, and you know, even when, when Obama was in the White House, I spent a lot of time, you know, trying to work on legislation uh, and, and trying to get the word out. And we've been hit with a lot of closed doors. Right. Uh, and so, it you know, it, it took the the recent and tragic passing of George Floyd on camera for the world to see and witness to have a clear example of oh wow now I can 100% you know see this it's a it's a visual thing and I think that's that sparked uh, a lot in in a lot of people and so I think what what you're seeing happening now it's it's a bittersweet thing it's it's like half of me is like man I can't believe it took this long uh, for us to get here, but you know, we're, we're, we're here now in this moment. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's so important, uh, for, for people such as yourself. Like when I see you in this executive position, um, at finish line and them allowing you to take over the page and have this platform, like this is very important. You know, the fact that right. that big brands like JD are stepping up and, and, and allowing, you know, you to do this and, 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 and me to be on here to talk about it. So I just think that, you know, it's, it's important that we utilize this moment in time and that we all fight the good fight for equality because that's all we want. You know, we, we want everybody to, to be even and, and equal and, and to have opportunities. And so um, I think that that is the bittersweetness of this moment. Yeah, absolutely. And then how do you think people should be, or yourself rather, observing Juneteenth? Like whether that's, you know, kind of educating yourself on it a little more, just being more, uh, just listening to like different voices as far as like what people are going through. So how do you think people should observe the day? You know, it's funny. I read a tweet this morning from, from Missy Elliott, who uh, she tweeted something to the extent of, you know, my mom and my grandma are, are just hearing some of these these stories, right? And a lot of people are like, you know, what is Juneteenth? What is this all about? And I've been seeing a lot, even in some of the comments right now, people have been saying, um, you know, what, what is uh, uh, the, the Black Wall Street and what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Right. And, you know, there was trending the other day, was Beethoven Black? Like, there's all these, <laughs> these questions, right? And so I think, you know, for a lot of us, we, we've only had a, had a, had a, had a certain uh, amount of information, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's, been, that's been fed to us, right? Through our school systems and through, through education and just through the stories that we share. And so I think first and foremost is, you know, is um, the information, right? It's educating ourselves. It's, it's sharing these stories, learning these stories, doing our research. So much, of, so much of it has been kept out of the school systems. And so it's so important for us to do our, our research. So I'm learning new stories every day. Over the right. past three months, two months, I've learned more about Black people and our experience in this country and our culture than I, I have, you know, and going through college, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think it's important for us to share these stories um, and do our research. And then as far as the celebration, you know, I think that that's going to be on us. I, I already know yeah. how, you know, I already know how we're going to do. You know, I think today, we're gonna, <laughs> you know, have some cookouts going on. I'm, I'm going to have some some very safe quarantine people in the backyard and light up mm -hmm. the grill. 
And um, I think it's, you know, we, we celebrate our ancestors. We appreciate their fight for us. And we look towards the future. And the future is bright, you know. And everybody that's on this this chat right now that's, that's tuned in, man, I don't care if you're Black, if you're white, if you're Hispanic, if you're Asian, man. This is a, a humanity problem. And this is, this is, this is going to take all of us coming together, loving each other, working together right. so that, you know, 40 years from now, our kids just look at what we were going through as ridiculous. I want our kids to be able to be like, yo, what? Y'all were <laughs> mad about that? Like, I, I, want, I want it to feel like that to them because mm -hmm. of the, the work that we put in now so that they can have a better tomorrow. Yeah, you mentioned the education piece. I think that's something that's very important because, you know, as we go through, like, elementary school and middle school, we don't really learn about these stories. So especially using this day to really, you know, increase your knowledge and really understand like different black stories. That's also a valid point. 100%, man. You know, I remember being in, in you know, middle school and, and high school. And the only things that I can like really remember is, you mm -hmm. know, we were all laid down in slave ships and how bad, you know, the slave ships and the middle passage and, and all of that was, right? right. There, there were no uh empowerment stories right mm -hmm. i don't remember my teacher saying yeah you know black people were tuskegee airmen that fought you know black people you know uh helped build the infrastructure of this country you know black people were intricate in world war ii and mm -hmm. you know like i don't remember them them telling me that those stories and so it's important now you know to not look and point the finger and do all of that but to say Absolutely. okay we now have you know more information at our fingertips than generations had in their entire lives right mm -hmm. when i was 12 years old there was an encyclopedia britannica's right you had to, yeah. to open up an encyclopedia mm -hmm. to look up information and now you know you can google it you can research it you can do your research in in the phone that's in your hand Right. And so I just think it's a beautiful opportunity, man, to, to, to do that research and, 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 and pull together. Yeah. It's like, remember going to the library, you got to look up the numbers to figure <laughs> out what book you're looking for. Like, it's crazy. And now it's everything's crazy. like in the palm of your hand. Yeah. And then um, what's like the thing you think, the thing people should take away from this day lastly? You, you know, I, I think there's this misconception with Black Lives Matter and there's this misconception with black history. And those misconceptions are that it's, it's only for black people, right? Mm -hmm. and, and for me, you know, when I, when I study the, the Holocaust, right? When I study what happened to, you know, our Jewish brothers and sisters, I, I take it personally, right? When I see the, the Nazi flag, I take that personally, right? Because right. it's, it's a humanity thing to me, mm -hmm. right? And I've done so much research on the, the Holocaust and so much research on what happened, you know, to lead to World War II. Like, I feel a lot of us have, have watched multiple World War II movies and multiple, you know, uh, uh, documentaries on what yeah. happened with, with them, right? Because in order to understand all of us as humans, you have to understand all of the human plight. And mm -hmm. so I think the misconception is that, you know, what has happened to black people is something that only we should research and only we should study. And right. it's like, I want all people of all races to, to feel just as passionately about uh, uh, black people in our struggle as they do when they see a Nazi flag. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and the history and the information is like, yo, this is something that all American kids should know about. Right. We're Americans too, you yeah. know? And so I just, that, that's the, that's the biggest, you know, takeaway for me. And, and one of the biggest misconceptions is that like, you know, our history is something that happened in Mars. Like, no, our history yeah. happened right here in America where, uh, American American, history. yeah, yeah. It's, it's us. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, I, I think that's very important. Cool. Cool. But yeah, you know, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So, you know, I thank you for coming on and sharing all this information, not only with the finish line and JD Fan, but with everyone else tuning in. And yeah, you know, I'm Omar, a senior cultural uh, strategist for a finish line. And that's Terrence J. And let, and let, hold, let me take a minute. Yeah. Omar is, is the cultural strategist, but Omar has been on the front line so much. 
And that's why I'm like, I got to applaud brothers like you. Like, this ain't our first rodeo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you, you've you, been moving the culture forward. You've been there on the front lines. And you're there in the corporate office fighting a good fight for us. And so, like, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate you, man. Like, you, you know, you, you, you're, you're, you're an integral part of this. And the things that you're doing with Finish Line is very, very important, bro. So, so thank you so much for all the hard work you do, man. Yeah, I appreciate that, you know. All I could do is, you know, pay it forward and, you know, keep progressing, so. 100%. Yeah. All right, cool. Appreciate it, man. All right, man. Have a good one, man. Happy Juneteenth, bro. All right, you too. All right, love. All right.